everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Jen and Christian is with me and we've got a haul video for you guys because we went on a little trip. So if you want to see what we got on our little trip, stick around. Okay, story time guys. Oh, so a story time. Um, this week I was on Facebook and a woman had um, movie posters for sale and I thought to my, and I was going to just pass it on by as you do, but something told me, I wonder if she has any horror posters and I got back and it was kind of late at night when I got with her and I thought oh, I'll probably not hear from her or hear back from her in the morning. She got with me within 10 minutes of me sending that message saying yes I do happen to have some horror posters and she also sent me a list of non-horror posters. These are movie theater and video store posters guys and for the most part I think there's only one that's damaged. Yeah there, well there's a couple that are kind of damaged but there's only one that's majorly damaged. Yeah most of them are considering these are like at least 20, 20 yeah. years old. All of these are not, or late, late 80s, 80s to early 90s. 90s and and we went and we had luckily for us we had a little mad money and we had to drive uh, we had to go uh, to Hobbs to pick this up um, but oh my god this trip was so worth it we got what 29 posters we got 29 posters yes. yeah and I don't know and these are cool the ones behind me are cool but these are reproduction posters yeah. these are the real thing guys and they had a few like we only had so much money to play around with there's a a couple that we might go back and get if they still have some but oh my god we got some good ones and they're not all there there's some really good horror posters but we got some non horror we posters. got some weird shit in this thing you want to show off the one non poster thing you got too yeah and the gentleman um just like i said well you must like uh you guys must be really into movies and they had this really cool film canister which i'm going to do something i don't know exactly what i'm going to do with it yet but it's going somewhere in my horror room because i just think this is so cool it was five bucks and I we were already spending yeah. you know a little bit of money what was five more bucks and I'm not sorry I got it it is just super super cool so I'm gonna do something with this I'm not exactly sure what but I am and now Christian is just gonna randomly pull out some of these posters uh, of his uh, <laughs> don't hurt the bulldog um, um, some of them are his some of them are mine Christian's just gonna grab them and we'll be all surprised together okay oh this is one of mine Eh, pull that shit down. All right. This is a like when the when they re-released the um, videotapes of the old serials from like the 30s. That they I feel had, like Vanna like, White. That they had it like Blockbuster, which is really goddamn cool. I actually have nostalgia for Zorro, Zorro a lot, so his yeah. grandfather. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. So that was that was one of the last posters you that found. That was the last one I found. Yeah. I don't know which one that is. Okay. This one, I don't know what it is. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh one. yeah. Okay, we did pick up two posters, one from my mother and one from my father, and this is the one my father got for him. He is a big fan of this movie. Truth to tell, if if if, if he hadn't, if I knew how much he had loved this movie, I probably would have left it. But because he loves it, um, anyone remember Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man? Exactly. I did. It's actually not a bad movie. I don't mind it, but you know. Tommy, and the neat thing is a lot of these are from a video store. You remember video stores, kids? <laughs> and on the bottom, a lot of these posters say available on video cassette and laser disc. <laughs> it's just, these wow. are so cool. And do you want to know how much we paid for all of these posters? A, a piece? Three fifty a piece. Three fifty. And a like, piece. go look on eBay and you'll pay a lot more. You won't even get that for shipping. So yeah, totally worth it. What's the next oh, one? This is one of my personal favorites. Trancers 2, the best Trancers movie. He was so AKA the, AKA the movie where someone plants a nuclear device inside a watermelon. This is Christian's poster. This is going on a place of honor. I love Trancers 2. Yeah, he's going to have to redo his room. Yeah. And so will I for that matter. Now there are some horror posters in here, guys, I swear, but. Kind of a horror poster. Oh yeah, I got this is one of mine. Eventually, we might be moving in the next couple of years, and if I get another house, I'm going to do just a non-movie room that's non-horror related. I know this This is more of a thriller. I really like this movie, and again, you can see, don't miss out on the fun. Jet, uh, you need to be taller. Uh, get Rock, July 8th. And I actually really like this movie. Rebecca De Mornay and Anna Barrow. Bar <laughs> Annabelle Shore. <laughs> Rebecca De Mornay was trying to smother me. Yeah, and that is one of my, get that out of yours. That's not yours. We'll sort these later. Yeah, the, the, that one is mine, and it's very cool. What's the next one? Uh, ooh. Is it mine or yours? Mine. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
I like this movie a lot, actually. Hang on. The Fisher King. It's actually a really good movie with, Bre with Jeff Bridges and Robin Williams. It's a movie that no one talks about, but it's really good. It's a really good movie. It's a, one of the really good, like, underrated Robin Williams movies. It like, really is. That and Mos Moscow on the Hudson I also like. Yeah. And Kingpin. Yeah. And Death to Smoochie. I love Death to Smoochie. I like Death to Smoochie. Sadly, there was well. no Death to Smoochie. Sadly, no Death to Smoochie. But that's one for the boys. What about, what's this one? Ah, uh, this is one of mine, and this again, it's not, it's, uh, it's kind of one of those erotic thriller things, it's another, Re I have a lot of Rebecca De Mornay, and, but I got it more for Don Johnson, and it is Guilty as Sin, and it's a really yeah, good movie, so I actually well. have, I actually have the video cassette, this is a movie I like a lot, so. You also have the cassette for him that rocks the cradle too, yes, my I arms do. already hurt. <laughs> So you want me to do the next one? No, I'll do it. Oh, okay. for fuck's sake. Which one is? It's one of mine, isn't it? <laughs> I'm kind of ashamed you got this shit. Oh, okay, story time about this one. Now, I know I don't think there's anybody in the community that likes country but me. I don't, like, I'm not the biggest country girl, but I, and my parents, and it's weird because my parents love country, particularly my mother. They are he uh, classic rock, heavy metal, opera, classical, but oh God, country was like a forbidden thing. But I like some country. And one of my favorite country artists is George Strait. And he did a movie called Pure Country. And they had the poster. They also have a Pure Country too, but nobody talks about that one. Hold it, we're... And, and, and I'm going to put it in my living room, guys. You know it's a music room, and this is a movie, but it, it's a music thing, so it's going to go in there. I got George Strait in the sunset! Ah! Fun story. She literally found the tape for this, as well as a shirt of his yesterday at, at, a, at a Goodwill we have locally. Major George Strait fan, and I, I like his older stuff. Like, his newer stuff's good, too. Well, his, like, you know, the more recent stuff he did before he stopped, you know, uh, touring and all that, but I love, like, the older stuff. If you're thinking of a stranger is one of my all-time favorites of his. It's not, you would think it'd be Amarillo by morning, but you people don't care. It's all metalheads, mostly. Okay, so what's the next one? A, a, uh, a full moon movie I've never heard of. Yeah, he found a lot of full moons, so I told him just the to get Shadow it. The Shadow Zone, which I've never heard about this. If any of you have seen this, let me know if it's worth watching. On video cassette, he wants to do like a full moon section. Yeah, I probably will do a full moon section because I am a big fan of full moon. Yeah, so that I told him he was gonna. He was trying to save his mother money, but I told him no, go get it because you're gonna be sorry. So yeah. what's the next one? Oh. What is this one? Is it one of mine? Yes. Okay. Finally, we get to a full-on horror movie. Oh, yeah. I This one, I wasn't. The woman, she said, the woman that I bought these from, she said, I have some more horror movies. I'll just bring them to the shop, and you can get them. And I did not know she had this, but I lost my mind. It's the Stepfather's Bell. Bell. It's so awesome. With Make room for Daddy. <laughs> I, this is one of the prize things that I got today. I'm a big stepfather fan, like all the movies I love, except for the remake. That remake can go burn in hell, but I love the stepfather movies. What's the next one? Okay, another, you think, it, 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 it's not an erotic thriller. I'm just pulling on all the erotic thrillers first. <laughs> it's Whispers in the Dark. It's another Annabelle Shirori movie. She's a beautiful woman. She was also in The Hand That Rocks the Cradle. And I really like it. it. It has John Leguizamo in it and a couple of other character actors. And it's a good movie for what it is. I have it on my DVR. I, it was a movie I liked as a kid. Well, not a kid, but a teenager. So it's one you don't tire about. But I was happy to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, this one we'll debate on who's getting this one and, uh, and right. where. Okay, what is it? Bam! One of the only good Disney movies. He's he's actually it's going to Christian because he we both love. This I still movie. say Jake should get this one. No, he he's getting another one, but this one is the Rescuers Down Under, and you can see our price. It, it, this one is definitely from a uh, limited it, time offer. Yeah, you can get if you buy two guys. If you hurry down to your video <laughs> store and buy two Disney tapes, you get five dollars off. I know we're not. We, I don't mind Disney, but this was one that I actually. Like that, the kid. Black Cauldron, and Sword in the Stone are about it for me. The rest, I'm not ah, even sure about. No. Sad. But yeah, the, the, that'll be Sparky's, but I really like it too, but I'm going to let the boy have it. Are you going to tell them about the one you passed up that was also animated? Later, at the end of the okay. video. There's a couple we had to leave behind just for money-wise, but 
Yeah, what's Another this movie I've actually never heard of, but it was cool looking. Is it a full moon? No, okay. it's, it, it's a guy, he's got like, like a wolf face, and he's got glowing eyes and a shotgun, and it's called Dead. Deadly Dreams. Yes, and it says, coming to your video store October 26, 1988. This is you just so cool. seven and five days old. Yes, my birthday's October 22nd, so yes, I would have been that age. But yeah, very cool, huh? Again, never heard of that. He just nor, thought it was a cool nor poster. Seen it, so. He just thought it was a cool looking poster. Oh, oh god damn it. Is this one one of mine? I got ghosts! This was the last thing I got. Now I'm not like I was hoping they would have dirty dancing, because that would be the Patrick Spacey movie I'd want to get. But they didn't, and I don't mind ghosts. Like, it's not one of my all-time favorite movies. Like, I wouldn't put it in my... The woman said she had gas food and lodging, but when we got there, it wasn't there. It was a movie made in New Mexico. Now, that's one of my favorite love stories, and The Bodyguard, and It's My Party. But they didn't have any of that, so Ghost was, you know... I, I didn't mind having it. I'll put it somewhere on the wall when I get a movie room. I'm a weird Patrick Swayze fan. Too Wong Fu. Mo most of his like big movies. My favorite Patrick Swayze movie is Too Wong Fu. You think it'd be Roadhouse? Oh, uh, Roadhouse is a close second, but that's the only like of his big movies that I actually do. I don't, I'm not super into like Ghost or um. And his grandfather's favorite is Next of Kin. Oh, oh, this one. So story time. <laughs> Where is it? See that? You See I that beautiful motherfucker right there? He's a big motorhead It's fan. my favorite band. I only got this because Lemmy's on the poster. And I do like the song. It, it, it's an okay British comedy. It's nothing like super great. It, but the fact, I was, I was thinking about it, but the fact that Lemmy's actually on the poster, I had to get it. We've got more folks. Yeah, there's a lot. Oh, oh this one. Uh, you can read one of these. If you could read that to the top. Celia, the eerie, the eerie chilly, ch chilling tale of one of one child's terror. Be warned. This one's. Well, this is one kids' film that's made for adults. It packs a powerful sting in the tale. A brisk narrative, gloriously subverted by shades of Carrie horror, Sundance Times, and Playboy magazine. Why was Playboy magazine talking about children? I don't know what this Child movie is. Child of Terror! I don't know what the hell this movie is, but the fact that Playboy magazine had a review for it made me very interested. As well. And the, the poster's kind of cool. It's kind of a cool poster, and the fact that they said it's a kid's movie, but also a you know, Guess what adults. he's watching tonight. Yeah, I'm very weirded out by whatever the- Yes! Okay, oh, I should have got- I should go get my other ones. Um, I have a massive Highlander collection. Like I'm, his whole thing in life, he doesn't actively search. They just come to him. I have found the entire series on Blu-ray, DVD, and cassette. And a jacket. And a and a crew jacket from the TV show, like an actual one that was used by the crew when they were making it. I just stumbled upon that for on how, at a thrift at, store. At a thrift store for fifteen bucks. Yeah. Um, and I also own the entire TV series on VHS, every season, plus bloopers, uh, bloopers, and behind the scenes tapes as well. And I own the posters for every movie, minus the first film, and the quickening, which I now have. He was so happy. Look at how sexy Christopher Lambert is there. Available on video cassette, laser disc, and 8mm, people. Oh, fuck yeah. I, oh, I need to get all the movies on 8mm and laser disc. Shit, I forgot about that. Whatever, people. I love Highlander, can you tell? The only thing I need is a Claymore signed by Christopher Lambert. Um, oh yeah, this one, I, we were in a hurry and I misread what the title was and I didn't check the poster. I thought this was Trancers 3. It's Scanners 3. Still cool! And it's, the takeover! It's not in the best of shape either, but you know. I'm not sorry you got it. It's Scanners cool. 3. You gonna put that one up? Probably not. <laughs> Scanners 3 is like the fourth worst of the series. You know. And yes, there's a fuck ton of Scanners movies. There's like ten of them. Ah! Okay, what's... Is that one of mine? Buried Alive! We just thought this looked like a cool poster. And it's... The Bulldog. The Bulldog. On video cassette. Um, it looks kind of cool. Uh, I'm, I think I'm keeping this one. Cool. Because I think it's cool looking. Uh, I'm getting If anyone's kissies. seen it, drop a comment. Yeah, if anyone's seen any of these weirder ones, let me know. Some of them we just got. That's a cool poster. Uh, oh, let me do yeah. this. Okay, this one. Oh, this one is going to go to the boy. And we couldn't oh. leave it behind. Oh, is this the one that I think it is? Yeah, but we really wish.
wish it had been part two or part one, but we couldn't leave it behind, and it is sort of oh, cool. Oh, that one. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's Hellraiser 3. With Hell a, on Earth. Now, and if you buy it at your local video store, you get a free audio cassette of Clive Barker's History of Horror from Hellraiser to Nightbreed. Be sure to go to your local blockbuster or take two video people. And pick that up now <laughs> or they'll run out quick. I know. It, I'll probably take that. I Hellraiser 3's... And it, Lemmy does a song for at it. At the time, it was a horrible movie, but considering how the rest of the series is, it's not the worst now. Let's see. What's the Oh, one? this one's yours. This one's mine? Oh, God. Ah! This was one I was not expecting. She she had this, and it's a, this one is the most damaged out of all the things, but oh, my God. I couldn't leave it behind. Look what it is, guys. Ah! It's the third, a.k.a. His worst, the worst. It's Frank, time to build a bigger basket. The worst Frank Cannon Lauder movie. Pretty. Let me see. Yeah, it's pull it down all the way. Yeah, it it, it show the people its glory. It's the it's worst. It's going on the wall. I don't know where it's going on the wall, but it's going on my wall. It's a little damaged right here. I think we only paid two dollars for this one, but I couldn't. I couldn't. Tell me, okay. you guys would have walked so, away from solve this. this qu uh, question. Is Basket Case Three the worst no. movie of the series? Let us know, cause we fight over this all the time. No I legitimately think Basket Case Three is a terrible movie, and she loves it. I love all the Basket Cases. I wish it would have been one or two, but I wouldn't have left that behind. Basically, mint fucking condition. Yeah, this is a really now. This is a, ch a child nostalgia. I actually like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I would have killed to have this in my room as a kid, and now I've got it at thirty something years old. Available on video cassette, and it is in really cool shape. It it's gonna go on the wall somewhere. I don't know. We're where. thinking of filling up our ceilings <laughs> with them because we're running out of wall space in these houses. I need a bigger house. Possibly my prize of the entire thing. The Blob. The most underrated 80s remake, in my opinion, of a, of a 50s sci-fi movie. He like, was so I happy. love the shit out of the 80s remake of The Blob. He's gonna put a... This is gonna go on a very special Yeah, part. this move, that one's getting a place of honor. Yeah. Because I love the 80s remake of The Blob. Yeah. <laughs> Which one is that? Uh... Oh. Is it mine? No. Well, oh. I don't know who's getting this one, but it's kind of a cool movie. Slime City! He's getting it. Okay, cool. 1989, fully theatrical release. A it's, horror film with guts? It's a it's a splatter film. It's it's trying to be the Toxic Avenger. It's a pretty blatant ripoff of the Toxic Avenger, but it's not too terribly bad. What's that one? I don't know. It's this. Oh, it's this one. It's another full moon movie. I got it because full moon. Yeah, he knows what you fear. Again, I've never heard of it. It looks like a subspecies. Spellcaster. It, it looks like, um, yeah, it looks... It yeah. has a little damage right here, yeah. but because it's full moon, he couldn't leave it behind. Yeah. It was just, you know, one of the Last things. couple. They must be mine. No, I'm saving that one for last because it's the most beautiful one. Oh. I think I know. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, Christian gave me so much shit, but I know there's a couple people from my horror ha hangout gang that will appreciate this. It's not a horror movie, but look at this. Pull it down so they can, so the people can see this. AK, the one. I thought this was Mission to Moscow, and I thought this was the one that killed the franchise. This is part six, and okay, these aren't good movies. I know they're not good movies, but my dad watched them with me when I was a kid, so it's nostalgia. And when I saw it, I was like, I'm not leaving you behind. Okay, guys, so cameras suck. Um, we have to make this little, um, preemptive, um, Why wasn't that a great video? <laughs> <laughs> I remember filming it like it was two hours ago. Okay, <laughs> okay, so while the boy was editing, uh, we're, we're, we apologize.
apologize for this interruption in our own video, but uh, while the boy was editing, um, we, we noticed that like about 15 minutes of footage was bye-bye. The battery yeah. died. I I forgot to charge the camera before filming. It will probably happen again at some point. Yeah, it does. Um, so but but luckily we caught it, and so we're just going. But see, the thing is, while the boy was editing this, uh, yeah, I've already put up my posters, and you put up some. I of put up one of my posters. Yeah, so uh, so we so we just started a little confuddle, but we want to show you guys the other posters we got. So just pretend this never happened, and we're just gonna keep going. Yeah, yeah. Going. So what's the next poster? Story? Oh my God, I don't know. Bam! He was so happy to find this one. It is Naked Lunch. David Cronenberg's most <laughs> underrated movie. Yes, and it is a very cool poster. It's getting a place of honor. Yes, because this is one of my, both one of my favorite books and one of my favorite movies. And this is one we didn't know she had till we got there. So there. And this is the last one that we yes. can show. Ah, oh, it's upside down. Damn! <laughs> did not get for us. Um, Pretend my... you didn't see that. <laughs> Would you look at this amazing Nightmare on Elm Street poster? It's Phantom of the Opera. My mother loves like the original production of Phantom of the Opera, so we picked this one up for her. And you can get it on laser discs, uh, uh, people. But it, it's a cool poster. Probably even if she hadn't been a fan, I probably would have gotten. Oh well, yeah, but it, that's... it's Robert England. It's it just... leave Robert England. It's the behind. last night. It's the Elm Street movie that never was. It, he's pre pretty awesome. Obviously Freddy in that movie. Yeah, but we got that for my mother. And there were two posters of mine, and one of them is my granddaddy yeah, of all. Yeah, you saw in the insert shop there, but you can talk about it. It'll be right here. Just get the camera. God damn it. <laughs> So now you're in my other half, the half you never see. And this was my biggest score of it. It is cycle for the beginning. You've met Norman, now meet Mother. And I actually really love this. And another thing I love about this poster is it has little posters of all the uh, previous movies, which is super cool. I lost my shit. I actually really enjoyed this movie. I know some people kind of don't, but I do. And then you can see Basket Case goes there. Yeah, just show off so for people who didn't see the face. Facebook post. Yeah, and then my stepfather, make room for daddy! <laughs> and then I've got the buried alive, it's kind of hidden move, behind. Let me remove our filming lighting Light. system. You get to see the very inner workings <laughs> of the channel for once. It's so glamorous, people. It's just glamorous beyond glamour. Okay, uh, okay, so the next one we got, here, let me do the light. There we go. Um, uh, this one is the Buried Alive poster. We're going to actually watch this. I'm going to see if it's on Shudder. I think it'll be my pick if, if it came from Shudder. Or we and, might just do it for a random day. Yeah, we might. It has Jennifer Jason Lee and Tim Matheson, and I like both of those people. And then the one, the boy. <laughs> uh, Can they see with my candle? Yeah, they, they, we, this, you showed this earlier in the video, but. Yeah, yeah. but this is the Hellraiser. The boy was going to take it, but then he thought it would be funny because he knew I'd have a big moral moral dilemma if, if, if for Hellraiser or not. And then you're wondering, don't you have a lot of prints and autographs from Jay? Why, yes, yeah. I do. They're, they're over my curtains. Here. And I still have some and room. Angus Grimm and Angus and Stephen King shelf. Yeah, show the Stephen King shelf. because Stephen King sh This is just turning into an impromptu room tour basically now. Yeah, basically. But that's 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 what... Oh, and all my Jason stuff oh, yeah, is over Jason the Oh, yeah, Jason stuff's now over there. Yeah. Oh, and the poster on the oh, ceiling. Oh, yeah. should also Jason mention... on the ceiling. <laughs> we had nowhere else to put it, so we put it in Celica on the ceiling. As you do. As you do. Celia. Celia. We still need to see it. Yeah, but, but yeah, Celia's on the ceiling for some reason. Yeah, Celia's on the ceiling, and hopefully we're going to catch that one too. But yeah, you guys get to see the little bit of which a side of my room you never see. But in basket case three. Just do a room <laughs> tour already. We need we need to build a bigger basket. So yeah, so that was, oh, my whisper's in the dark. Come with me into my boudoir. This is getting kinky. Okay, and this in my hallway because I had nowhere else. This is where the Police Academy pick, uh, poster's gonna go. Police Academy City Under Siege. Isn't it beautiful? Christian, every time he walks down the hall, it says it's weird. And then my boudoir. 
And a cat. And a cat. There's my Guilty as Sin poster. My Whispers in the Dark. I actually had a whole celestial moon thing over my bed, but because I wanted to put up the posters, I couldn't. And now I... But I'm going to keep Whispers in the Dark. This <laughs> room is like the romantic room. Like, got <laughs> and then I got him. And, the and you got ghosts there. The and then you got the most romantic movie of all time, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And him that rocks the cradle. But yeah. I, I, I told Christian, why have these posters if I'm not going to enjoy them? So there you go. You've got to go into my boudoir. Feel privileged, people. Feel privileged. And yes, I do call it boudoir. <laughs> Can we? Fit? Yes. <laughs> So there you guys go. You got you, this was a this was like a bonus video for you guys. You got to go in my boudoir, got to see the other half of our filming room, or my horror room, aka my den. Yeah, it's oh, we didn't show the pure country. Come and I am see. not getting that camera again. <laughs> come on, come on. Uh -huh. So, George. Meet George. I've had this George Michael poster forever. It, it creeps Christian out because when he's editing, George is just seductively watching him. As it were. But I'm a huge George Strait fan and they had this. So this goes into my living room, which is basically just my albums, vinyl, and music room. And now I've got George and George and Tom Petty on the other wall. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> The boy's not happy with me right now. So yeah, so yeah, you, you guys got to see my boudoir, my music room, and the other half of this room. So you got a three for one. This would be a menage a trois in the sexual game, would it not? <laughs> yeah, and it's not the 17 year old that's a pervert, it's his mother. Cause that's how I roll people. <laughs> So anyway, we hope you've enjoyed all of our posters. Do you have anything else to add? This is going to be fun to edit. <laughs> You're not talking to me, are you? This is going to be fun to edit. Okay, but we hope, <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed it. The boys got to get to work on editing now, so I guess this is where we're going to say what I always say. If you do enjoy the contents of this channel, please hit that subscribe button because we appreciate every subscriber we get. And with that, we wish you a good day, a good evening, and want to say anything for the good people? <laughs> Stare. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye.